Okay, so yeah, new new MM ROM hack that just came out a few days ago. Apparently it's pretty short, it should only be like two to three hours. Whoa? Wait, what? Oh, the title screen. <laughs> okay. Guarding in a graveyard. My adapter, hold on. <laughs> One more problem to fix. My ESS adapter's settings are on OOT, and OOT settings are really bad on MM. Okay, fixed. All right, no more, no more issues. I will actually start playing the game. I am alive. Wow, he called me a slave. Okay. Something something castle. Hi, switch. Nice. Nice camera. I forgot how much I love the MM camera. Yeah, back to our, our regularly scheduled 20 FPS gaming. How God intended. The leg. Is that... that's an entrance, okay. Can I go in the house? I am playing this on WeVC, and I got the patch for the ROM in the YouTube video description for the hack. Yeah, this is pretty dark. I wasn't sure if it was... It looks dark on uh, my CRT, so I wasn't sure if it was dark for me or like just generally dark, but if it's dark for you guys too, then yeah, pretty dark. It's that, that painting. Funny painting. Dude. Why is it so hard to get out of here? It is the hardest thing to leave this house. Oh yeah, I guess I could have put the mask on before leaving. Cows and bombs. Will they die? Cows are fine. They're fine. They never would have been hurt. Cows are super invincible. Dude, I love MM camera, oh my god. I do not know. I am I am lacking critical information. Basement oh yeah, there's a basement. I am no longer lacking critical information. Yeah, this hack is actually dark. This is that was hard to see. 72 you almost are broken. I think the it just like Happens to break every now and then, and I don't think I can do anything about it. Sorry. Boron mask. Zora mask, Deku mask. Well, clearly, Goron goes first. Help. 
The differences between MM and OT's camera. So MM's camera, I'm pretty sure, takes longer to turn around. And because of that, uh, if you press, like if you turn around and then target and then press down mid turn around like this, or like, okay, it's, it's kind of hard to, to like cause on command. You can kind of see it like that. Like the camera can instantly turn around when you're not trying to instantly turn it around. And that gets annoying a lot. And also, uh, if you turn around and let go of target, it actually stays targeted for a little bit longer than you'd want it to. Okay, I think you get the mass like right at the beginning of each of these, so I kind of feel like it might be easiest if I semi-cheese this and try to get the masks all right away. And then do the whole sections in case there happens to be a section where it's better to actually use the the new mask or like a different mask che it's not cheating it's being optimal the game lets me do it Yeah, I just started streaming on YouTube because Twitch changed their rules about streaming on other sites and now you can stream on multiple sites at once and I thought I might as well just try streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. See how it works out. Oh, because you don't have magic, you have infinite magic. Very cool. I don't need to kill them, I can just step on the switch. Uh, you actually can't configure OBS alone to stream on multiple things. You need uh, a separate plugin, which I, I thought that OBS could do it alone, but when setting it up, I learned you can only do it with a plugin. So are these rooms only for a hard piece? Yeah, I will still do them all. I like hard pieces. Nice solid color. Come on. No. Definitely same guy as Master of Time, yeah. I mean, I love Master of Time, but definitely has some of the same issues. Oh my god. First try. Nice. Yeah, I did see the new Indigo video. It looked super good. Oh, it's... I thought it was static and I had to, like, uh, go under it. I didn't realize it was moving up and down. Very cool. This is definitely a ROM hack. Uh, apparently this hack is fairly short. Uh, from what I've heard, it's like two to three hours on the shorter side. Probably like a one dungeon hack. I keep trying to use D-pad for the masks. Why does this not have D-pad masks? D-pad masks should be standard in MM ROM hacks. Uh, did I go in this house? This was the bow house, wasn't it? Yeah, because this has the basement. No, I have not been in here. Bottle. 
I can't believe this hack doesn't fix the climbing problem. What year is it? Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the beginnings. I remember there was a eye switch at the beginning. And I feel like I I feel like there's nothing else to do there. Did I go up here? Very cool. <laughs> I can't talk to him. I don't think this will do anything. No. Yeah, probably song. If if there is song of healing, then I will come back. I don't start with any songs, do I? Oh. Well then. Looks like nothing. Unless I have to like be targeting him or something. I don't know. Seems like it might just be for decoration. Just like haha guy was buried alive or something. What did that do? That? Yeah, it must be the hookshot target. Hookshot, which I don't have. Put him in a bottle and bring him there. Is that the actual thing? If this works, I won't know what to say. Okay, no. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily have to be Deku Princess reskinned. It could all. It could just be like taking Deku Princess code and slapping it on uh, that guy. Oh. Can I do this? Come on. Dude, it's right there. Is there any other torch in the area? Okay, in my defense, that's because of when I got randomly crushed by the grave. Very cool. I guess I was too far away. And so it wasn't loaded until I got close enough. Uh, looks like I need bombs. Okay, yeah, I need bombs. There's nothing down there, right? I mean, I guess I can swim over there with Zora. Oh, there is. Okay, just a heart piece. There's a heart piece there. Looks like I have to jump a bunch. I think I have to, like, jump from this house. Yeah, okay, this looks like it's a long parkour section. Is this where I came from, or is this? Oh, this is new. Never mind. Somehow missed this the whole time. I was for I was exploring. I just missed it. Forgive me for missing an exit when all parts of the area look exactly the same.
Oh yeah, I can't kill them. Let's go run. This area is cool. How will I open the temple? Maybe with this suspiciously placed block. Where is a switch? Wait, did I pass the switch? Oh, I see it. So I want it to fall in that corner. That didn't open it. Just one switch. I guess there's multiple. I think I didn't check down here. Yeah, I haven't seen this before. Oh? That probably unset the switch. How about magic? Uh, so in MM, if you have no magic, the game treats it as infinite magic. Under most circumstances, except for Deku Bubbles, although I wonder if Deku Bubbles are actually changed in this to be infinite. Is that it? Was this area just for a heart piece? Yeah, okay, the switch got unset. I'm gonna look for another switch before I do the block again. Oh, I see a floor master down there. Wait, that looked like a switch to the temple, right? Yeah, the switch is down there. But how do I get down there? Hey, I didn't intentionally try to look out of bounds for the switch. I just intentionally tried to clip out of bounds for fun. Totally different things. Oh, I didn't see this. Maybe it opened that, maybe the switch opened that door. Well, probably not, because it would have made a cutscene unless the cutscenes in this do feel a bit bugged. Maybe it did open that door, but just did play a cutscene for it. Okay, it looks like it attempted to play a cutscene. Yeah, okay. Usually there'll also be a sound for it at least too. But no sound either. I forgot if you can hit these switches. While swimming? Okay, yeah. Here we go. Infinite magic is broken. See, why, why wouldn't at least that kind of cutscene play? That would have made more sense. Switch cutscene them have to be set up manually. Okay, so they're just like generally harder to work with. Oh. Interesting. Oh man. That's a good room. So, for those that don't know, this is an unused actor in MM. Uh, it's just a bouncy thing that just never gets used in the game, but exists. It's fun. Get in, dude.
Please roll his Goron in that room. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll go back in a sec. And wait, is this gonna... Okay, here. I wanna I wanna try Goron rolling in that room real quick. Yeah, this isn't underwater. I could totally see this clipping me out of bounds. Well, I already clipped through those things. <laughs> okay, well, I can clip through... I can clip through the layers, though. Okay, not too special, but fun, I guess. Nice. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, this looks like the right way. Dude. Hook shot target. Is hook shot nearby? Do I jump? I feel like I don't want to jump yet. Uh, okay. Alright, let me go this way. Okay, I'm not sure if I skipped hookshot or if I'm on the path to hookshot. Okay, I'm really suspicious of that chest I missed. It looked like I couldn't get it yet, but I probably just missed something. Also, wait. Can I get up here? I am shocked there is not a heart piece or something secret. Oh. As I say that. Okay, I think I want to get over there. Okay, I think... Okay. Land on this. And then... I should be able to get to that chest. Do I need to... I guess I need to jump over this. Uh... <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Accidentally doing Flying Zora. Uh, for those who don't know, Flying Zora is uh, a glitch in the vanilla game where if you start flying as Zora, like uh, very close, like in a in very shallow water, you end up flying. Didn't do it intentionally, but it's a thing. There we go. Yeah, Flying Zora's height, height limit is actually not very high. It can only go like maybe one or two Zora heights above the water, if that makes sense. Like you can't go higher than like, it probably doesn't go higher than like one dive wood at max. Yeah, more hard drops in the grass of Zora. Really? Wait, is that a vanilla thing? Or is that uh, a thing changed in this? Getting more hearts from grass of Zora. It's vanilla? Really? That is news to me. That's very interesting. Okay, I guess there's like one Goron area, one Zora area, one Deku area. Classic master of time textures. Hmm. 
Nice. And dude, the the fact that you lose speed after the ramps and then the beginning of the next ramp has like a tiny starting portion is kind of annoying. You have to land right in the middle. Here, just a heart piece. Oh, there's lots of heart pieces in this. That's neat. Interesting. But why? Did I miss? I must have missed a bridge for back there. Grab the heart piece first. <laughs> Dude, I was literally on the heart piece. Dude, hold on. I'm gonna try something. If this is a good ROM hack, this will work. Okay, good. Okay, that was my fault. That was skill issue. That was not my fault. That was poor placement. Dude, come on. You gotta move that one down like five pixels so that it works the whole way. Dude. Nice. Dude. 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 There. Dude, I don't want anyone to tell me that was a skill issue. If I understand it right, it seems like there's like three mini areas based on the mask types and then like a final area afterwards. At least it seems like that's going to be the case. And I've done a Zora mini area and now I'm going through the Goron mini area. the gate. That one. That's cool though.
Energy runs. Yeah, this Goron map is really cool. Uh, except when I turn the complete opposite direction for no reason. But what is cool is getting to hear Goron Link's full scream sound. Dude, the MM crit camera. I hate MM's crit camera. When you have critical health in MM, it's as if you were like permanently crit wiggled in OOT, and I hate it. You're like always moving slightly upright. How they make a bug into a feature? Surprisingly enough, crit camera in OOT is not a bug, it is a feature. Nice. But yeah, crit, crit Wiggle in OOT is actually intentionally programmed in. It is not a bug. Love the long fall. Why wow, they put in Crit Wiggles? I don't know. The best theory that I've seen anyone put forward is that it's meant to like simulate Link being weak. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to justify that. Like, like Link having a limp or something. But I don't know, that's pretty sketchy. Fire Rose. I'd ever speed on this game if I dislike so many features of it. Just because I dislike some things about it doesn't mean I, I dislike so many things about it. There are... Every game has a handful of things that are annoying about it. Every game has its fair share of annoying things. Like, OOT has far more good things than, than annoying things. The most annoying thing about OOT... Uh, the... the vine climbing glitch where you can climb vines uh, and then climb up one rung and then instantly fall. Which was actually recently figured out... Dude, that turn is so hard. It was recently figured out uh, how... why that happens and fixed by Kenton in chat, uh, dev of the Indigo ROM hack. And so it will be very nice. Fixed in Indigo. Levers are the most annoying. Levers are annoying, but there's definitely more annoying things. Maybe I just walk. The dev really listened to my one request, yeah. Dude? Are Nejirons still my favorite enemy after this section? It's not Nejirons' fault that this section is annoying. It's the way that they are laid out by the dev. It's not the Nejirons' fault. Also, I'm 90% sure you could do a skip by, like, diagonally jumping over the rails. Okay, wait, where... Do I want to go from here? So if I jump down, this is the beginning, isn't it? Or wait, did I do this... Was this whole area just for the heart piece, and I'm done with this area? Or am I missing something? I thought there was... another layer to this. Okay, I guess I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, I got fire arrows. I just thought there was one set of tracks that I didn't go go through, but I guess not. Yeah, I think the whole the whole Goron area was probably leading up to the fire arrows, right? So the whole Zora area area was leading up to Hookshot. So I guess I leave the whole area now. No, this isn't a full length hack, it's only it's only a few hours apparently. Uh where is a 
the deck of flower I can use to get up there. I see the place I want to go. I don't see a flower to get up there. Okay, maybe here. Dude. Dude. Please. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah, you're definitely supposed to jump over here. It just has one of those awkward jumps. Okay. One of those sometimes you don't jump jumps. decoration or yeah it's decoration yeah they do make you work for the hard pieces which is nice Deku King Fantastic name for the king. Beautiful textures. This area is cool though. Suspicious fire. Yeah, there's a switch behind there. Uh, I'm gonna assume that probably turned off the fire? Okay, it didn't get turned off. I wish I could know what switches do. I think it's meant to be like a mini dungeon type of thing. I mean, I think technically these are these have all been outdoor areas and not true dungeons. Let me check down here. Ah. Oh. Oh. There's a switch. You know, I bet you could get there with Flying Zora. Did I just never find the switch? Okay, I don't even know what that did. I was expecting it to raise this, but... If it didn't do that, I have no idea. It didn't lower the fire. I have no idea what this switch did. Okay, I don't know if I missed this before or if that was opened by a different switch. Was this gate open now? No. Okay, so I still don't know what that switch did. Unless that turned off the fire, which it did not. Okay, I, I have hit like three switches and I have no idea what each switch did. I just have to run around until I see a new switch now. Yeah, this dungeon, it wouldn't be... This dungeon would be fine if there was a map. Dude. <laughs> if there was a map, I think this would be a lot better. And, like, I understand that uh, maps are not easy to make, in, even in OOT, but probably even more so in MM. But I feel like that's a limitation you should play around rather than just go with it anyway. Wait, is this? Wait, that was where I was supposed to be. How'd I get there? <laughs> I accidentally, I accidentally stumbled my way to the right place, but I don't know where that was. I think it was 
this way. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I don't know if that was always open or if that pathway opened from a switch. I assume a switch opened that. But I don't really have a way of knowing. Okay, now did that one area that I've been expecting to open up, open up. I think it was up here. No. I keep expecting this area to open up and it's not. And I just don't know where to go from here. I mean, I mean, it must be another place I need to fall. I don't know. I guess just take, try to take a look at every place I can fall down. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I have zero clue what these switches do. And I feel like I'm not supposed to know. I feel like I'm just supposed to wander around. Did I already fall down here? Yeah, this is one I did already, I think. Or this might be one that looks the same, but isn't actually. No, it is the same. Okay. Okay, I definitely need to fall down there. I just need to find where to fall there. Did I go down here? This is the way I went before, right? This I'm pretty sure this is my third time going out. Yeah, it is. Dude. Why can't I use a send? Why does this not have a send? How are you supposed to play Zelda games without a send? Crazy. Where did that switch come from? Where's the stairs? If I had a send, I wouldn't need the stairs. Oh my god, I have no idea where I am. Okay, no, the one place I'm still expecting to open still has not opened. What about the fire? I forgot where the fire was. Was the last switch that I just hit the fire? The one that was behind the fire? Oh, the last switch was the fire switch. Okay. Alright, then... I officially have no idea. What to do? I know I need to fall down there. Wait, is it was it that gate that the gate to the switch that was near a door? Yeah, here. Okay. Or wait, was this no? Is this new? Or is this the one that I'm gonna fall down again, like for the fifth time? Okay, this is new. Okay, here we go. Finally, the one that I've been expecting to disappear has finally gone. I am amazed that they were able to add so many switches in this area with none of them being visible before you randomly stumble upon them. Okay, that did not open this gate. I, I can only assume at this point it has to be... The Deku King, right? I mean, it made a sound like another gate was opening, so... I feel like this isn't gonna work, but... I feel like... That should have been the last one, even though it probably isn't. No. Are oh, the gate by the entrance? Uh, which one was blocked off? I think it was this way? Yeah, was this the way I went down already? Yes. No? No, I didn't go here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I assume that one is the Deku King one. The noising, are you- wait, was I at low health for a really long time? Were you guys hearing the low health beeping? For a long time and being annoyed by it and I just didn't even notice because I just tuned it out. Yeah, okay. I hope it wasn't that bad. Sorry, I don't I don't notice that anymore. I stopped noticing that a decade ago. Yeah, if you, if you can't tune it out, it's skill issue. So that's on you. Please tell me that was it. 
What? Okay, I did see this just open. I don't think this was there before. I just realized I never turned on my input viewer. Oh well. I'm sure it doesn't matter that much for a ROM hack. Now you'll never get to see my inputs for rolling around and trying to find a switch that I have no idea uh, if it exists or not. Okay, I assume that was it, and yeah, okay. So there's no, he doesn't like actually finish anything. But there's no dialogue, to f there's no like actual quest to finish. Okay, I feel like I could probably song a time here. How do I even leave? But I'll lose my arrows. Okay, I don't think it's that bad to go to backtrack here. really just for a heart piece? It's not, it's not the way to the death castle or whatever. Do I just get a second mirror shield? Very cool. This looks like it's the way to the, the bad ending. Wait, this was just the way to the Goron area, right? Or no, this was the way to the... Um, oh! Or wait, no. Bombs. I can't, still can't get past here. I know I need to go to Death Castle, but I don't know what Death Castle is supposed to be. I thought it was like go back to the beginning area with the items, but it just led to a heart piece. Yeah, this is where I could get the heart piece with Ice Arrows. This is not fair. There we go. Dude. Please climb. Climb any day now. Is there any other place where ice arrows could do something interesting? Yeah, I assume I probably need bombs at this point, because there's one bombable wall, but I have no idea where bombs might be. Is there a place called Forgotten Castle? Do I? Is there a place I know of with that? No. Oh, it's one of the entrances in this field? Okay. It works though. Good to know. I just never saw this because it blended in. 
with the walls. Okay, I assume this is it. See me jump off. Hey, what's that? Is it bombs? It's bombs. Okay, pretty sure I know where to go now. I got a lot of big fans of YouTube chat showing me love. Hello, YouTube chat. Thanks for the love. Sorry, I'm not paying that much attention to you. I probably will when I get more used to it. Also, I noticed that a hard piece respawned. I remember someone earlier mentioning that all the flags get reset when you play Song of Time. I assume that means easy way to uh, do parts, which is very cool. Don't worry, I know that it's ice arrows. I wanted to just try once to see if I could make it up without ice arrows, because it looked like, from a farther distance, it looked like it might have been close enough that you could Zora dive up. Seriously. Please. Before it melts. Yeah, I know you have to just not hold A, but I'm not used to it. Yeah, ice, ice always melts pretty fast in this, in MM in, in general. This looks climbable. For example. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I definitely thought that was intended. I'm not cheating, I'm just taking a peek around. Just want to see what's going on. See the world. Try to the same thing. I imagine that's going to be common. That was... Considering the way this game wants you to look for hookshot targets, that is definitely like a... Oh, hey, I'm looking for a hookshot thing. That's a hookshot thing. Surely this is the way that I'm supposed to go. Or like, surely this is, you know, a secret or a heart piece or something. You're tilted. I should have got hit there. Really? I, I should have I should have uh, seen that coming. Because the the reason the other one couldn't have used because he was tilted back. The tilted forward one should have obviously been more likely to hit me. That was bad. Bad timing. I didn't mean that. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay, these cutscenes after killing each one is gonna mess me up. I should have done that. Okay, not safe. Done that. Scene almost killed me again. Okay. Yeah, there's a few other Iron Knuckles in MM besides the Moon Dungeon. They're in uh, Ikana Graveyard. Uh, actually, they might only be in Ikana Graveyard. Maybe they're also in Ikana Castle. No, I don't think I don't think they're in Ikana Castle. Either. I think it might just be Graveyard. door over there. The old man came back today and threatened me again. I hope he gets tired of wanting my castle. Is that just the... Oh, that's a gate. That is... not... Oh. I assume that's just the old guy. Uh, did I pick up a, pick up Deku nuts? I think I did. Uh, not as many as I wanted. come across anything I could catch in a bottle that would give me health? I don't think I have. like two hits away and I lost all my nuts and my bombs and my health and I assume there is no health drops in here or anything doesn't kill them wait does this make them drop at least okay wow this is really bad <laughs> this is not a good strat I mean I at least want to test if this makes them drop no it doesn't it does not hit the eye okay intentional death because this was bad
dude. Dang. So he's just giving it up? What is this? Uh oh, is this- I swear, this is some kind of Ben- Ben Drowned reference. Okay, no. It's just the end. Okay, cool. Is this so this is the actual end? What's this say? This is not the real ending. Whoa, plot twist. Okay, I assume the real ending probably has to do with the secret entrance at the very beginning. Or not secret, but like the entrance that didn't get unlocked. Okay, I assume that's it. Uh okay. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go cheat. And clip past that one gate out here. Uh, 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 I mean, that was kind of cool. Not even the slightest hesitation to cheat. I beat the game. I, I have a right to cheat after I beat the game. Huh? I got, I got cheat blocks. It's just a reverse entrance. It's a cheater trap. Okay, how do I get how do I get the real ending? The the one where I assume you unlock the gate at the beginning. Beat the boss again? What boss? Kill Warp, but go back to the start. Wait, so was I just not supposed to play Song of Time? Did I ruin it by playing Song of Time? Or was I supposed to like beat the boss but not talk to the guy? Oh, don't enter the last door. Okay. Yeah, I never would have figured that out. Do I have to fight the Iron Knuckles again? Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure the goal of having the Iron Knuckles uh, tilted like this is to try to prevent cheesing. And I feel kind of bad by cheesing. Hot cheddar. I mean, I don't actually feel bad. It's more like... Dang, you come up with a potentially clever solution to stop cheesing. But it doesn't do anything. This is the intended way? It kind of is. I mean, considering the equipment you have to fight the Iron, iron Knuckles, uh, like, without this, I mean, what else are you gonna do? Like, just slash it a million times with your weak sword? Okay. Okay, and then go back through this door and just go back to the beginning. Talk to the guy first? Okay. Okay, and now go back to the beginning, right? You might want to heal? No. What? 
Or is the way open? Okay, yeah, the way is open. If I remember the timing for this. Easy. Just like riding a bike. And I'm back to the ending. Alright. That's cool, I guess. Still not the real ending. Is there actually another ending? There is another ending? Really? Oh yeah, because it still says it's not the real ending. Wait, so then what? Exit the room? Then what's the real ending? I can't think of anything else for an ending. Go back to the room with Macron. There's a door I can, op I can go into. Oh, so I... Wait, if I play Song of Time, will that reset it? Will I still be able to get there? Or do I need to go do Wart again? I mean, I guess I don't really have a choice. I have to be Wart one more time. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll just hover past the gate. I'm cheating. <laughs> I think a few people are getting put on a list right now. I'm trying to find the true ending. Imagine this gate is actually a gigantic invisible wall. Okay. So there's just a door here. Uh, where's the door? I'm fairly sure this was several guys, so there is some kind of corroboration. So I don't think I don't think I'm getting one guide. I could be. Wait, it was only ever one person. Wait, am I actually getting one guide? Is there actually a secret ending here? You don't see the door, you'll get the option to open. Okay, glitchy mind. Is this real? No clue. Why am I in New Jersey? Excuse me, this is France. Okay, very cool. Alright, I'm gonna assume I'm getting trolled and there's no extra ending. So I'm, I'm gonna stop here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Fun-ish hack, I guess. It had some cool stuff, but was also kind of annoying sometimes. But it was neat. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. It was fun. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.